Hi, I'm David Furman and this is part two of what's in my camera bag, the other stuff. So I've finished a long day of walking and I've checked into my bed and breakfast or whatever lodging and I'm just sitting here relaxing right now on my, my nice bed with its uh, leopard skin spread and I'm settling in to do a night of, of, of work, uh, editing of photographs, possibly putting up a blog post, that kind of thing. Anyway, so I'll put the camera aside for right now and what I'm going to focus on today is the stuff that I don't have slung around my neck in my camera bag. It's the stuff that fits into my backpack. So we're going to start off with this package right here. It's a bunch of stuff uh, that helps me do my work and it's in a, a large Ziploc freezer bag. So open it up and first thing I pull out is this extension cord. It's a one meter indoor extension cord, just a, a two prong type of plug you have here so that they, this would get stuck into the wall plug if it ha I happen to be in a country that uses wall plug. If not, then I just have a, an adapter for that particular country and I plug that in there and then into the wall. Now the beauty of having an extension cord, it allows me to get the power from, from wherever the, the plug in the wall might be and quite often it's behind a piece of furniture or a some other inconvenient location so this allows me to get my power up to where I want to use it. So that's it, that gets plugged into the wall, into the this plug right here and oh, by the way I have a little cube type of um, power prong thing that gets plugged in here. Into that I plug my anchor power port 2. Um, I like this th thing a lot, it basically replaces for let's say iPad or iPhone chargers. Uh, it's all it's fairly powerful. It's got a uh, 40 watts, 2.4 amps uh, in total, and it allows me to quickly charge all of my devices that I have. When I store it away, I keep all of my cords attached to it so that they're always there. I don't lose them this way. They they just sit securely in that, and I just wrap them up and put them in my bag at the end of the day. So, anyways, that gets plugged in here, like that, and then, then I'm off to the races. I then just have to plug in my iPhone, my iPad, uh, the other devices that use a, a small USB uh, uh, micro connector, and get the charging underway. Now, what else do I have here? I also have, all important, a battery charger. Now, the battery charger that comes with the... Um, with the Olympus is some big bulky thing it has it's quite large and it all actually has an entire cord that attaches to it so it takes up a lot of room and it's uh, fairly heavy this thing right here it's a uh, upstart travel charger uh, it does pretty much the same job it has a folding plug right here that I can then just plug into my extension cord Put my battery in here and get the charging underway. I can charge uh, two if I happen to use two batteries. I can get them fully charged in the evening and overnight and get that all taken care of. So that takes care of that. Uh, what else do I have in here? I have in my case um, I carry a little. I guess it's a, an additional eye cup. Uh, replacement eye cup for for my Olympus OMD uh, EM5. Uh, Mark II. I carry this because I've had occasions where the eye cup uh, gets pulled off of my camera, it goes missing, and if you don't have it, it's it's just a metal ring that tends to scratch your glasses, and that's just a very expensive exercise. The other important thing that I carry around is my backup equipment. Now, the, the, my backup equipment gets stored inside a, a lock sack uh, case. This is just more or less a uh, uh, a Ziploc bag on steroids. It's completely waterproofed. It's supposed to be completely waterproof. I've got a double seal here. It's got a heavier grade of plastic as well around it. Inside here what I have is my backup device and in previous episodes you, you've noticed that I've used a verbatim um, a Kingston mobile light and a verbatim media share device. 
and this is very similar to that. I've had trouble with those other two lately, so I'm moving on to a third variant of that uh, of that type of device, and that's the Rav Power File Hub. It's a fairly compact unit. Uh, what what I do is I take the, the SD card out of my camera, I put it in here, I open up this little patch at the back here, and I will plug in a USB flash drive right here it gets plugged in there I will connect it to the power using a, the uh, USB plug right here that's connected to my charger and then this gets turned on it connects by Wi-Fi to my uh, iPad mini 3 right here and then I use that to control the transfer of, of files from my SD card, not the transfer, but the copying of files from my SD card to the USB flash drive. So then this flash drive, once it's all finished, that flash drive then becomes my, my backup uh, copy of all of my files. Now, I have two um, sandwich bags here, one for unused uh, flash drives, and then I have another envelope in here of the ones that are that are full. So once this gets filled, I put it in here so I don't get them confused and just makes the whole process quite quite quick. The transfer speed is quite quite good on this, so um, I'm still testing it. I'll, I expect to have a little report on that soon on the on my blog and probably on YouTube. So just keep an eye out for that in the future. Uh, anyways, that's the main backup device. Uh, I should mention too that while well, this device and all of the backed up um, files on the USB flash drives get stored inside my my backpack, I do carry the original SD cards that are full and actually the unused ones inside the secret pocket in my Tilly pants. Uh, Tilly pants are the pants that I wear all the time when I'm doing my long distance walks when I'm traveling. They're extremely durable, a little bit, uh, a little bit expensive, but they are made in Canada and they last forever, believe me. Um, I've, for example, been wearing these uh, since at least 2012 uh, when we did the Camino de Santiago and probably before that and they're just like new. Anyway, so the cards themselves um, First of all, I have a, a Colgan wallet here. It's meant for um, keeping documents in, I think, and, and credit cards. But I use them for my uh, my SD cards. So I got one side of it, and it's got a waterproof seal right here. I got one side where I keep my fresh or unused cards, and then the other side, once the card is full, it goes in this side into the full side. That's a waterproof thing, but just for a little bit extra security, it just slip it in a, a nice lightweight uh, sandwich bag, Ziploc sandwich bag, and that goes into the secret pocket in my in my Tilly pants right here. Uh, it's not so much secret as it is secure. It sort of fits inside the pocket in a, in a special Velcro closed uh, uh, pocket so that somebody can't reach in and pickpocket that uh, whatever's inside that that secret pocket. What else do I carry in here? I also carry as a sort of an emergency backup I have a lightning to SD card reader uh, that would plug into my lightning connector on my iPad mini and I could use that to back up or not to back up to transfer pictures from my uh, SD card to my iPad mini for editing on the iPad mini. The last thing that's in here is this little Night Eyes um, iPad stand. So it just opens up like that, you connect it like that, this little part flips up, and there you have a little stand. Quite handy, takes up no weight, takes up no space, so it just makes it nice for late at night after I've done all my editing and what have you. If I want to sit down and just 
watch a, um, uh, a movie or a, a TV show on, net, on Netflix. The other thing that's in my backpack, if, as I've shown you already, is my iPad mini. I have a, an older iPad mini 3 and it's in a light proof nude case. This nude case is kind of neat because it, uh, it's actually uh, a waterproof and pretty shock resistant case. Um, and the beauty of it is, is it doesn't have a plastic sheet over top of the, uh, the screen on the iPad. It just sort of seals the edges to create a waterproof barrier. But anyways, I've, I've had this for quite a while and, uh, and uh, I, I kind of like the case. It gives a good grip to it while I'm using it. My iPad mini is a very useful tool in the evening. Uh, it allows me to do all the transfer of pictures from my USB uh, or from my SD cards to my USB flash drives using the File Hub Plus app. It also allows me to transfer pictures from my SD cards to the iPad so that I can edit them on my iPad. Uh, and then on the iPad itself, then I can edit those photographs in Lightroom CC. That's my go-to app that I use um, all the time these days uh, and using pages I can write a blog post if I happen to need to be doing that and then also assemble the pictures and any of the text into a blog post using the WordPress app and once that's done then upload it from the WordPress app to my walk click make blog post blog site up on in the cloud so that's pretty much it. The only other thing that I can say is the other thing that I carry here is are these. And basically what it would be, well not basically, these are uh, just cleaning wipes, lens cleaning wipes, which I use once a day in the morning. I'll take one, open it up, clean my glasses, clean the lens on my on my Olympus camera, and also clean the screen and the EVF electronic viewfinder on my camera as well. Uh, this, the touch screen, because you're touching it all the time, tends to get kind of a, a little bit greasy, uh, a little bit dirty, so it requires a cleaning from from, uh, from time to time. And um, I find that the EVF also collects a, a fair bit of dust in there, uh, so it requires a little bit of cleaning as well, just so, so I get a nice clear view when I'm, when I'm using in the, my camera in the field. Anyways, these are all important consider considerations to take in mind. I hope you've got some ideas. Perhaps if you're contemplating doing a long walk and you're trying to put together a camera kit that will allow you to be the photographer you want to be, uh, as well as possibly uh, doing some creative stuff at the end of the day, then this might be a starting point for your own uh, camera kit. Anyways, thanks for taking a look at the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please like it um, below and also please subscribe to it as well. I hope to have a lot more stuff up on my my YouTube channel that's a walk click make. Uh, as well uh, I would probably encourage you to visit my blog site uh, at walkclickmake.com uh, there's lots of interesting articles there about technical stuff like this, about photography, about the photography I do as well as the walks that I take. So in the meantime, until next episode, um, I bid you good walking and good food taking. Bye-bye.